Okay, Six Nations. Wales, Italy. Who gives a toss? Alan Wynne Jones! <laughs> 150. 150. Captain Courageous. Years old or caps? Hey. <laughs> Four and a half months he hasn't played. Uh, yeah, but I mean, I, I got a call up for Italy and I, I'm just too good. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I think it's, it's a very. Uh, Wayne Pivak says no, he's signed to go to the World Cup. But I think it's a very emotional uh, decision, and rightly so. In Cardiff, against a team they know they're going to wallop, yeah. let him lead the team out. And basically, bidding farewell after that. <laughs> Is this his last game? We've been no, no, he says, he says he's got another World Cup in him. <laughs> <laughs> and I would have bet against him. This is a bloke whose arm was basically taken off against Japan, and he was here playing in a test together. series. They stapled it back again earlier. You, you know, it's, 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 it's awful when people don't retire when they should, uh, because it sort of mars what has been an incredible career. So I'm sorry, uh, Alan Wynn Jones. For taking the piss, you're a legend. Um, oh 150 man. games, and he will lead yeah. the Welsh team out. Dan Bigger will be there, uh, kicking the goals, and they will pump Italy. Yeah, they, 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 yeah. I'm not even going to get into a bet on this, but but 30 it should be oh. 30. But yeah. Anyway, Ireland, Scotland. What do you say about that? Ireland, Scotland. Well, I mean, at the the start of the Six Nations, Ollie and myself took Ireland to win the Six Nations. Um, I've been underwhelmed by their performances, to be fair. Uh, I thought England really showed them up last week. Pushed them around quite nicely. But, but you'd think they have to be able to beat Scotland. There will be an irony in them pumping Scotland and uh, the La Crunch not going the way for the home team in Ireland, winning the competition, but clearly the second best to France and the second best team. I mean, that's happened before. Look at Wales. Yeah, well, Wales, Wales did it last year by playing 14 men every time. So, uh, Ireland are doing it the same way. <laughs> but look, there is a, Ireland are two points behind France. And we spoke about, we'll get to La Crunch, but you've got some ideas about what might happen in La Crunch that yeah. could actually bring Ireland into yeah, the frame. It's, it's 24 to 1 to say it's a draw in Paris. Do you hear that, Kev? 24 to 1. <laughs> for the draw. For the draw. There's usually a reason why things are 24 to 1, you know? There's a reason why it's 40 to 1 <laughs> for a draw in, uh, in Carter. Yeah. <laughs> Could be 400 to 1, it's not going to happen. So, uh, Ireland to win comfortably. Yeah, I agree. Scotland have just got worse for me as this tournament's uh, yeah. unfolded. And, um, yeah. I, I, well, you say comfortably. The betting is 15 and a half points, favourite. Island. Go for the spread. Okay. Yeah. So are they are they sixty? Are they are they for the, are they good enough for a sixteen point victory? Yes. Yeah, I'm not sure whether I'm that bullish. I think they'll win, but I don't, I'm not sure whether they'll beat Scotland by sixteen. You're not really out on a limb with that, Z. You know, they, you think they'll win? It's like I thought we were just talking outright. Uh, I don't talk outright. We okay, talk Ireland, sports. Ireland, Ireland will cover the spread. So yeah. you've gone from GC no no to sixteen points. Okay. Here we go. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> They'll definitely win. I was thinking around 10, 12 points, but okay, let's have it. Yeah, look, I, 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 I'm going to stay away from this as a gambling man, but if I had to bet on it, I'd take Scotland with 15 and a half points on the board. Now, I, I just got a feeling there's a backdoor cover there. Um, Scotland will be up for this game. They're always up for games against yeah. Ireland. And, uh, you know, they don't, they don't usually lose by massive amounts. Though they haven't beaten Ireland in uh, five years, um, so yeah, just 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 a little tickle on Scotland with minus fifty with plus fifteen and a half handicap. Mm. Now here we got another competition for this hat. Mark, try this one on. Let's see how it looks. What's this got to do with rugby? <laughs> How's it look, guys? Amazing. That is Amazing. So oh, it's official. It's official Red Sox cap. So if you're a Liverpool fan, which has got nothing to do with rugby as well, yeah. <laughs> but it's got everything to do with the Premier League. <laughs> <laughs> so if you've got, um, if you want to win this hat, give me the correct score in the Ireland, in the France, England game, which is the next game up. Should be a cracker. In La Crunch, it's yeah. the last one. It's going to decide the winner of the competition. And Mark has called a draw. No, I haven't called a draw. Why? Uh, it it's going to be an England win. An England win? Yeah, I like that. I don't like that. I like that. Uh, What's the spread there, Kev? Well, you know, I'm just about to get to it. Um, 
It's it's like it's nearly four. It's nearly it's three three rand eighty four. I think. I would say it's about six and a half points, but let me check. But uh, but the actual betting, I think it was three rand eighty four for an outright English win and one thirty one for a French win. Three eight five. Three eight five. So that, geez, just put your money on that. England France is always tight. And England has a pack that can trouble the There's French. We haven't seen that yet in this competition. France under Gaultier, 19 wins out of 25. They beat an island at home uh, comfortably. They beat New Zealand at home comfortably. But Eddie Jones is going to, if he keeps 15 mate. players on the field, mate, mate, England will win this game. Mate. And they'll win it, mate, by five points. Listen, listen, listen. Before <laughs> the island game, before the island game, Eddie said, Ireland. Haven't come up against something like us before. They're not Bock hardened. And if you look at the French pack, they've done some great things, that team. But they also have not faced South Africa for some time. I feel like if they keep 15 players on the field, like you said, England are in this thing to the final. And as there is no way England go to Paris and win. I'm willing to bet you... Both caps. Both caps. <laughs> <laughs> Eddie the has said... Bucks. Eddie has said, and we like to quote Eddie on matches that involve Eddie. Eddie says, mate, we don't know how to beat them. Because we've beaten them in the last two times we played them. There we go. And, uh, and they have beaten them. And the one thing about France, and look, they've exceeded expectation for me and how they've handled the pressure. Yeah. I thought their win in Scotland was very good. I thought the win against Wales was also was a very, very good win. Although Wales had the opportunity when Davies dropped the ball. I think they scored there. Wales come back and win it. But 39, the discipline. Sean Edwards has been magnificent with what he's done with that French defence. Yeah, I've right. never known a French team in the last 10 years to be so disciplined. Mm. Not give away penalties, keep their structure, and their kicking game is good. But they haven't been put under pressure as a unit. And the England pack is strong. I mean, we even saw when we played them uh, end of the year yeah. uh, last year. They, they're a very strong uh, competitive pack. And uh, mentally, they have stumbled at home last year against Scotland. Scotland beat them. John Duan van der Merwe scored that try. They just had to win that game. They win the competition. They lose 16-9. I think it will be a bit of a slugfest. If 15 stays on 15, which I'm sure it will, England will end on a high. And France will uh, be thinking, thinking third year in a row. And that will be the big, big question mark that they take into the World Cup next year. Can they handle the pressure? They win this one. And they fly into their World Cup next year. How much of this has got to do with the fact that you backed France last week against your gut feel and they won? No, no, I... Wow, no, you don't want to be wrong. No, no, I backed France to win last week because I felt they were... Okay. They were, as Kev said, they were five points better than, than Wales, but not... Not nine. Not nine points better. Right. I felt they, they were still good enough to go to beat an improving Wales side is not quite there sure. yet. Uh, when I look in the context of that England game, I thought England were outstanding for 70 minutes yeah. with the way their pack played 14 on 15. And that kind of physicality. Mm. Uh, and Eddie will get them up for this one. Mm. He has already said, let's see what you've got. Are you good enough to go to the World Cup? Uh, we can't win this tournament, but we can do Ireland a favour and we can actually uh, put a lot of doubt into the French minds. So, yeah, I, I think this will be a dress rehearsal for the French and uh, this could be a World Cup final. Look, the quality of the two teams. Look, France is one, not an easy pace to go and win. England's only done it once in the last five, five visits there. So yes, they've beaten France uh, a couple of times in the last couple of years, Mark, in the, in the recent competitions that were created. Um, but this is a France team that is on the up for me. Uh, it, it's underestimated how difficult it is to go to Wales and win. And they did that uh, last week. They've done everything asked to them, and I don't believe England go to France and uh, and man up. And I'm Welsh. I can't just back England. It's, uh, it's against my it's against my DNA. <laughs> so I'm thinking that France win, but I don't think that they win by I don't think that they win by nine or more points. So you give me eight and a half points with with England. And sure. I like that. Bet. Sure. I love England plus eight and a half at one point eight four on Betway this weekend. I do that for two thousand rand. Um, it's a solid bet. France just don't blow away teams. England aren't going to get blown away unless there's another ridiculous red card. Um, and that's the only way that Ireland pop finished them off last week was by, you know, a few a few uh, late late minute scores that uh, took that uh, took that points total away from me. So England plus eight and a half, which means that they can't lose by nine or more. 
eight or less or a win, and, they, and we win our bet. So that's the bet for me for the England year. And don't forget, predict the score and win a Boston, an official Boston Red Sox cap. Nothing to do with rugby. Nothing. What do you think? Are you going to put in a score? Uh, I'm saying uh, England to win. I don't think. Uh, I don't well, think let's let's predict. Let's predict the score. So I'm, I'm saying England will win by four points. Five give me a four score. Be 27, 23. Okay, Marcus. 23, 18 to England. Five points. Yeah. 24 to 18 for France for me. Nice. Yeah. Allez le bleu. Allez le bleu. Mark, thanks for coming in. Um, uh, Z, always a pleasure to see you. Thanks. And make every better winning bet out there, folks. Cheers.